Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another Y50 video. Um, actually, in this video, I'm going to be uh, powering this thing on and uh, we'll talk about some of the tech specs and, um, you know, just some of the general features of the thing. So, I guess first off, right over here by the uh, left speaker is um, the power button. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit that thing. And uh, we're going to look at the uh, boot up time. Just kind of see how quickly this thing starts up. So here we go. Press. Get a little uh, Lenovo startup screen. This pretty much hides the uh, post information. So, I don't know, maybe a handful of seconds there. I don't know if that was even quite a minute. I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a timer going or anything, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and log in. And then uh, we can talk about some of the specs. So by default, it will ask you for uh, your password clearly and you, you can change this if you'd like but uh, you know I don't know I like it the way it is so it's gonna take some extra time okay we're in um, I guess one of the first things that I want to mention is I think that Lenovo calls this the one key but I'm not entirely sure but if this thing will get in there and hopefully focus, right next to the power button on the left there, you'll see that little uh, parabola looking arrow. <laughs> um, at this point, the most I know is during startup, you can hit that and you can get into uh, the BIOS settings, which maybe I'll do another video of. Um, you know, actually, I haven't had to do that yet, so I don't know a whole lot about it. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and back back out. Um, the uh, speakers that I mentioned in another video, um, I've actually played with this for a few days now, and uh, I got to tell you, these have got to be the best speakers at least on a laptop that I think I've ever heard. Um, so anyway, they're, they're JBLs. Um, I'm not going to flip the computer over now, but in a previous video, I uh, pointed out the uh, subwoofer on the uh, underside of the laptop. And um, man, it works great. I mean, I've tried music, uh, videos, I mean, it just it just sounds good. Um, the other thing, since we're kind of at this angle, is the uh, the backlit keyboard. Uh, right now, it's not on. You're just kind of, I guess, looking at the keyboard as is. Um, one of the things you can do is function key, and this little symbol on the space bar indicates, I guess, the light level, if you will, of the uh, backlight. So if we do a function spacebar, you can see it light up, hopefully, uh, in the video. I don't know how well that came through. Um, you know, if I hold it at this angle, you can kind of see all the little LEDs under each key. Um, so there's two modes to this. The one that's on right now, I guess, is kind of the medium level. And if I hit function space again, 
Yeah, see, I don't know how well this will turn up on the video, but that's like the next brightest level, if you will. And if I hit the function spacebar again, the uh, backlit keyboard LEDs more or less turn off. So if you were using this at night in complete darkness, um, I don't know, maybe you wouldn't see what you're typing right now. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out was the trackpad. So in one of my previous videos, I talked about how this thing was kind of off to the left a little bit. Um, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to stay with that thought. <laughs> um, it's a little further left than I'd like it to be. You know, I, I guess mainly because I'm right-handed. And, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm playing a game or, you know, doing whatever I do here on the left-hand side of the keyboard, if I'm up here with these keys, you know, I kind of feel like my right hand, which currently is holding the phone, you know, it's, it's kind of over here and in the way of my left hand and I don't know, it's okay. I suppose it's just a matter of getting used to it. <clears throat> so a lot of people have been uh, commenting and talking about just generally the, the plastic feel. Um, you know, if, if, if you had your hands down here typing, um, this this portion of the the laptop, I mean, it's it's smooth. It feels real nice. Uh, I think somebody commented that it might be sticky. Um, it is not sticky at all. I mean, it, in my opinion, this this stuff feels real nice. I think. Um, the other thing too, speaking of this general area on either side of the trackpad, um, even though I don't have any video or gaming recording software yet. Um, I've put this thing through some gaming and, uh, you know, it, what I like is when you got your hands down here and you're gaming, really anywhere in any of these areas, you feel no heat. And, and, and I like that a lot. Um, I will say though that uh, when I was trying to put it through its uh, motions, if you will, doing some heavy gaming, um, where I did notice the heat, um, and this may or may not bother you or anyone else, was right up here, right along where the hinge is uh, for the laptop screen. Um, that may have a lot to do with I don't know, perhaps where the vents are located on the underside of the computer. Um, if I had to guesstimate without turning it over, I would say that, you know, the vents are probably right under here, maybe. Um, anyhow, so the only, again, just to reiterate, the only place I've ever really felt heat, I mean, to the point where I might be concerned about it, is right up here, right along that hinge. Um, you know, maybe I'll look into that and make another video in the future as to, you know, why that's happening. Uh, so anyway, let's get back up here. And, um, you know, ah, well, I wish I had some screen recording software at the moment to do this, but I just thought that maybe I would pull up um, some of the system properties uh, for the laptop in general. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the file explorer. This is running Windows 8.1, by the way. That's what at least this laptop shipped with. I'm assuming they all will. Um, anyhow, let's uh, get into some of that. So if I come in here a little bit, so it's got uh, Windows 8.1. The processor is the uh, i7-470HQ. The uh, 
installed RAM is 8 gigs, 64-bit operating system. And uh, that's about all we're going to get from this screen, I think. Um, so, anyhow, uh, some of the other things I wanted to talk about. Uh, give me one second. So, the graphics card is an NVIDIA GTX 860M. This particular model is a 4 gig version of that with the Maxwell architecture. And from what I've heard and read and good buddies have told me that that Maxwell architecture, for whatever reason, just runs much cooler than some of the previous architectures. Um, and I think that's great. So, and as probably have said before, it's a, this, this particular laptop is the 15.6. Not sure if that's why they call it the Y50 or not, because I know that they have a Y40 also that, you know, doesn't have the, the number pad. It's, it's a much smaller, more portable machine. Although with this thing, I mean, I, <laughs> for a 15.6 inch laptop, I, I, I don't know how much more portable you can get. Um, you know, this is probably a plus or minus, but the weight of this laptop is 5.29 pounds, at least according to, uh, Lenovo, the, uh, up here at the top, there's an integrated webcam and it's, uh, it's 720p. I played with it a little bit. I mean, I don't know. It's... It works. <laughs> it's uh, not the best thing I've ever seen, but hey, it does the job. Um, so for storage, and uh, I'm not entirely sure how this all happens or even works, but the way Lenovo ships these is you basically get close to a one terabyte hard drive. In my case, uh, and I hope this shows up okay on the camera. The refresh rate might be kind of goofy. But if you can't read it, this basically is 900 gigs. So, eh, might as well be a terabyte. On the other hand, we have a 24 gig, 25 gig. Um, more or less like a SSD drive. Kind of a, I don't know, flash drive sort of deal. Apparently, and I be I, I don't know I may be completely wrong, and uh, let me know in the comments if I am because I would love to be corrected, because <laughs> uh, I want to get this stuff straight for you. But uh, apparently, you know the stuff that you use more often, um, you would want to put on that drive or. You know, I, I guess I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I guess the best thing to say at this point is the stuff that you would use more often, you'd want to put over here uh, because that's that's kind of the integrated flash SSD. Um, apparently, you can get that up to 512 um, gigs, I guess. <laughs> Um, again, mine's only 25. I'm not entirely sure how this all works yet. But when I do, um, maybe I'll throw another video up about it. Um, the other thing, too, is this, lap, it, this laptop is uh, Bluetooth capable. Which, surprisingly enough, for all the Bluetooth stuff that I have and use, this is actually the first Bluetooth um, keyboard that... I've actually owned and I'm excited to uh, to use that and check that out so anyway um, I think I'll call this video quits for now and uh, like I've said in previous comments and in previous videos um, when I get some uh, screen recording software um, 
I will throw some games up there and hopefully report some frame rates. And uh, we'll see what this uh, 4 gig GTX 860 can do. Because um, I'm assuming that's probably what eh, the majority of the people that are buying this laptop are interested in. So until then, have a good night and uh, we'll see you soon.